Thank you for being a part of our childhood. Thank you for showing us what teenage life should be. We've grown up watching you on screen. It feels like you're part of our family. These lovely sentences are said to me on a daily basis for the last 15 to 17 years. And for that, I am extremely grateful. I can still remember, like it was yesterday, me and my best buddy Nimesh, Purbandarwala. College hum bunk kar rahe the and we were sitting on this wall, our favorite adda tha. Thode badtameez the, thode badmash the. Sandwich kha rahe the. And I see a beautiful girl walking up to me. And she says, I'm in charge for looking and casting for the face of our channel. And you kind of fit the bill. Will you audition for us? Without a blink, I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> she writes down her number and gives it to me. And she goes away. As soon as she goes, Nimesh Purbandarwala, my friend, nudges me and says, boss, what is an audition? I said, I have no clue. But I got the number of a pretty girl. The next day, I went for that audition, not knowing what that was. I cracked it. I got the job. And the channel whose face I became was Walt Disney. Oh, it's been 30 long years, or short years, or 30 years, three decades. The first show that I did, I mean, uswakto satellite television hota nahi tha, so forget about streaming channels. There was no ZTV, there was nothing of that. There was Doordarshan, and there was Doordarshan Metro. And my show, Disney Club, was on Doordarshan Metro, right? At 10 o'clock on the morning, Ravivar, with Parivar. Very interesting show tha. Char paanch link the, main jata tha. Us vakt ke celebrities se baat karta tha, mainly sportsmen, phir Bharatpur Sanctuary mein ja kar ye, alag alag birds dikha tha tha, uske beech mein cartoons aate the Disney ke. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Minnie and all that. And that show became a rage. Phir aya ZTV, aur aya mela pehra show satellite par, jiska naam tha Disney Hour. Disney Awa Aya, successful Hua, Har Roz Hume 8,000 letters Aate Thay. Aaj Bhi Log Mere Paas Aate Thay, Or Kethi Kethi Bhaiya, Mai Aap Se Naraaz Hoon. Mane Kya Kya Yaar, Aap Ne Meri Letter Nii Padi. So I'm going to, with your permission, take this platform and this opportunity to say, Maaf Kar Do Bhai. 8,000 Chithiyan, Padna Toh Dur Hai, Us Pe Reply Karna Nii, Mere Bas Ki Baat Nii Hai. But with this same humility, I feel the love, and that love hasn't left me even today. It became a very interesting life. I was blessed with lots of interesting characters, lots of interesting roles. Mambo from Ishkwishk, John from Hippie Pure, Vital from Vicky and Vital, Jannat, Kismat Connection, IPL, Entertainment Kili Kuch Pinar, Tu Hai Mera Sunday. The journey has been lovely. It's been amazing and it just feels like it just went in a flow. And trust me, a decade just went by. 12 years just went by like this. And for the first time in 12 years, I got a 15 day holiday because we were between projects. And that project got a little further delayed. So I got 30 days, first time. Kabhi in the last 10, 12 years, I'd not got more than two, three days. So you must understand what I'm trying to portray to you. Just imagine this picture. I was living in a bubble, <clears throat> all right? The bubble was my peers, directors, actors, sportmen, makeup dada. That was my bubble for 16 hours every day, loving it, playing different characters, different sets, different people, but that group was the same. And the only time I used to get out of that bubble was when I used to come home to sleep, where it was mom, dad, and my two sisters. That's it. 10, 12 years passed by, and I got this break and I ventured into the world and guys, I was in for a rude, surprising, beautiful, delicious surprise. All of a sudden, people were recognizing me. All of a sudden, people wanted to come up to me and talk to me and be nice to me. All of a sudden, people wanted autographs from me. Are autograph to Sachin Tendulkar ka lete hai, yaar. Shah Rukh Khan, ka lete, Amitabh Bachchan. Ka lete. 
I remember my first autograph. What's your name, please? Dear so and so. I have written a letter. That guy is bored. He's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. People wanted photographs. Pretty girls were coming up to me. I was enjoying the attention. But I was, I was blessed with something that my parents gave me, a strong upbringing. So it didn't get to my head. So this change was a big shocker to me. I recognized that. But then one more thing happened, which was the first movement of my life. For the last four to five years of my life, I had been feeling a void. I'd been feeling that I believe that the shows are doing well. I'm enjoying my craft. I have recognized the talent, a gift. Everything is going great, but why am I not feeling that 100% happiness? And I realized in those 30 days break, the reason for that. And the reason for that, my friends, is that I was doing the same variant of the same character. I was being punished for doing a great job on the first day of work. Everybody was making me do the same thing and different parts of it and I didn't realize and I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do more. That seemed to be one of the biggest mistakes of my life at that time. So I decided that now onwards, I am going to opt for different roles and not take on the roles which have been coming to me in floods. I finished the commitment of this project and spread the word out that look, I'm looking for different roles. Everybody to my face, the biggest directors, the biggest producers, of course, definitely, Are we'll do this, we'll make you a villain. <laughs> we'll make you a murderer. Everybody wanted to make me a murderer. But I wish they really wanted to because nobody gave me work. I was unemployed for the work that I wanted to do. People still kept coming to me with the same roles, same structure. Box ke andar hi rao bhai. Usme jitna bhi bhangada karna karlo, lekin uske bhaar mat aana. Aur mein koshish kar raha tha aane ke liye. So at that point, there was a door in front of me, which was locked. And there was a door behind me, which was wide open. It was my wife. It was my comfort zone. It was where I could always go back. Plan B to tha, ki ye to ho jayega. But as time kept on moving, as I kept on saying no, no, every time I said no to a script, every time I said no to a director, producer, with humility, begging them that mujhe ye de do, wo de do, that door behind me also started closing. And it closed to a place where all of a sudden, the door behind me was absolutely shut and the door in front of me had more locks than before. I remember being in that position. I come from a middle class family, a family who has supported me financially, personally, mentally, grown me as a man that I am today. And for that, I adore them. But it was my time now to put up my responsibilities, to take care of things in my way. And now, I got into this place where I was like, what have I done? A time in my life where I am supposed to take charge, I have decided to take this decision. Not only do I remember that moment, which is a horrifying day for me, which I'd like to share with you. At that point, the biggest production house was making a huge movie the best director, the best producer, and they called me for a narration to their office. Trust me, guys, it's very intimidating. You sit there, this big director turns around and starts narrating this project. Oh, it was an excellent film. It was an excellent role. Same variant. Lots of money, everything. I'm physically feeling sick, guys. I can't. I can't get back on the set and do the same thing again. I just cannot. And at the end of the narration, I very humbly don't have the guts to look up and I say, sir, I can't. I can't mentally and physically, I can't do this role. It's such a great role, but it's just, I can't do it again. I've been doing it for the last 12, 13 years. I can't. But you know what? There are four scenes in your script, which I love that role. Will you give that to me? And the reaction of that guy was shock, disbelief, anger. Ego, how dare you, denial. 
you will never work again, were his words. I could have caved in to the intimidation. I don't know what happened. I stuck by my roots and I said, Sir, those four scenes, please. They've never worked with me again. <laughs> but I walked out that day, back into that vacuum between two closed doors, and I realized, oh my God, what am I doing? There was a tsunami of feelings, my friends, which came onto me. Self-doubt, self-loathe, anger, frustration, fear, anxiety. Later on in life, I realized that that was the phase in my life where I was diagnosed with chronic anxiety and depression. I was broken. I have to confess something today which I haven't told anybody. I broke. I went back and I said, I'm ready to do the same work. Nobody even gave me that work. The doors were shut, guys. I was broken. Somehow, somewhere, I got the strength. I said, no. Kuch nahi hai, toh paise toh banane hai. Kyunki by now, by saying no, I had lost the goodwill that I had created over the years. The popularity was becoming less. People were not seeing. Or jo dikta nahi hai, wo bikta nahi hai humare line mein. And alongside all of this, money had gone too. I was broke. I had to make money first. So I thought of an idea of information boards and advertising agency is what I started. Mumbai is a place where there are lots of high rises. And at that time, we did not have the internet so readily available. So it was an information board which we used to put in the lobbies and elevators, which would tell you about your area, all the shops, and I would generate an income that way. It was a big board. Tha. You know notice boards in na, society? Mein? I didn't have money, so I had to sell my car. I started traveling by rickshaw. Uske bhi paise nahi the kyunki mehenga tha. Bus and then walking. I still remember the first day where I went, I had to get appointments with secretaries to ask them for permission. And I went to one of the secretaries, seven o'clock ka meeting tha, I was walking with this heavy board and I ring the bell. And the help opened the door and she looked at me. Some very weird expressions, 20,000 happened in her face. So even I went, you know, what do you see dancers hote na? Wo ho gaya, do second ke liye, chalo. She went inside. I, it didn't, nothing was recalling on me. I said, what is happening? She said, aayye bethe, saab aare. I went and sat down on the sofa. Two minutes later, saab aate hain, secretary. He's coming, this thing, and he gives you. Now, tum vishal malot raho na? Haan. Now you see, at that point, my entire focus is, I've spoken to him earlier on the phone, Sir, I'm Vishal Malhotra, I'd like to do this, that. So I said, Achha, wo recall hoga, lekin itna dramatic kyun? So he says, Are you an actor? I said, yes. Calls his wife, calls his daughter, calls all the help in the house, we sit down, we have a picnic. Chidwa kha rahe hai, cold drinks pee rahe hai, matlab ash kar rahe hai, 45 minutes guzar jate hai. Chalo, thanks. Okay. Lekin sir, mera, mera board, that's when I realized, my friends, the value of a brand. I had become a brand. Being on the screen, being in your houses, creating and evoking some emotion in you, a smile here, a tear there, had made me one of your family members. And I had become a brand. And I realized, Brand open doors. That's the moment that I realized I am going to get back to becoming an actor for two reasons. The first reason, which will always remain, is my love for the craft, my passion for it. But this new second reason which developed right now was I realized I was creating a brand. The business flourished. 10 buildings, 50. 100, 500,000, 10,000 societies. I was enjoying the ride. I was enjoying becoming an entrepreneur. I was enjoying the business. I was enjoying learning the hooks. I was enjoying exploring a new career. In the meantime, I was still going and auditioning and looking because I wanted to do different roles. But honestly, this whole passion, this whole wave, I was so flowing in it and enjoying it that it was a little half-hearted. 
And then one day I heard about this film project, which is going to be massive. I love the project. I love the newness of it. I love the characters. I'd love to do it. I somehow got a meeting with that gentleman. Well, that man. And I went there and I said, uh, hi, sir, I'm Vishal Malhotra. I'm an actor. I never presume that people know me. And this is what I've done. And he was very, mm, mm, not even looking at me, mm, very standoffish. So I was getting the vibe and I said, Dekho, yahan par dal nahi pakne wali. no problem. I said, all right, sir, thank you for your time. And I got up to leave and he just went, hey, Vishal, ch -ch. I clinched my fist because there's a respect. Kept it in my pocket. And I said, hmm, you don't remember. I was your third assistant in that film. Today, look where you are and look where I am. The emotions which took over me, anger, fear, intimidation, self-pity, frustration. I swallowed hard and I said, congratulations for all your success. Thank you for your time. I went outside and the fire inside me was burning like a volcano was about to erupt. And I promised myself that day, it's my friend. Up to sixer mar nahi. Life went on. I had a very big meeting with one of the biggest retail brands of our country. And I had a meeting with the vice president. Intimidation for my boards. I land up there, I'm standing outside, sitting outside his office, his manager comes out. And he says, sir, sir is ready for you. So well. While I'm going in, the manager says, <laughs> said, <"Kya ho> gaya? <laughs> he said, Aaj mood bahut. good luck. I'm like, kya hai yaar? Bolne ki kya thi? I opened the door, wow, what's happening? Sit down. I said, okay. I sat down in front of him. He was screaming at the poor guy across the phone. Screaming. How can you do this? Blah, 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 blah. It was actually, actually his uh, tissue supplier, his distributor, who basically was jacking up and was spoiling the flow of the business. So he was screaming at him. And he's looking at me and I'm like, what's happening? And I'm like, where am I? Yaar, ye toh nahi wala, main hon, yaar. So, you know, literally those moments that you're like, okay. <laughs> and he turns around, bangs the phone down, gives a second, looks at me, points at me, and says, Tu karega kya? Haan karunga. <laughs> karunga main. And I became one of the biggest tissue distributors in this country. Now, y'all might sound, think this is sounding very frivolous, ki haan bol diya kar diya. There's a little bit of theory behind this. Look, there's a lot of people who believe, I respect them, become an expert in something, right? And then indulge in executing that expertise. I respectfully have a different thought. I believe, learn the basics of something. Solidify your base. Know enough to stay afloat, ki aap drown nahi hoge. That plus the fire in the tummy right here. That, my friends, according to me, is my formula of success. Opportunity comes, learn the basis, learn the basics, learn where you're going with this, and then crack it out of the stadium. And that's the theory that I followed. Things were moving in such a great direction. My business of info boards, which was my advertising business, was flourishing. My business of the tissue paper distribution was going on. It became a joke. People used to come and say, Are you the actor of tissue paper? I said, Yes, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it today. And I'm going to sell it. Life continued in that fashion. But what that gave me, my friends, is a lesson which I'd love to share with you. It taught me the value of being financially independent. Please, I urge you, think outside the box and try to become financially independent at the earliest. Because if you are financially independent, means your basics, khana, kapra, makan, your basics are taken care of, you will make the right decisions in your life. Let me give you an example of myself. I am an actor. Today, 
if I am not financially independent, I will have to do with any role that comes to me. I will eventually not do it well because it doesn't interest me and I will dwindle. But if I am financially independent, which I had achieved due to these lovely experiences in my life, I could go now to directors, to producers with much more clarity. I thought out of the box. Today, the entire world will urge you, will force you, will push you to remain inside a box. They will typecast you, they will tell you that you have to remain in this box. How can a doctor be an actor? How can an engineer be a ballet dancer? How can a pilot be a swimmer? Are today we are blessed to be living in an environment where we have these choices. So please, don't only think out of one box, think out of 20 boxes. You remember that boy who was standing and sitting with his friend on that wall? He became an anchor, he became an actor. He started an advertising agency, he sells tissue papers. And today I have directed and produced the world's first NFT funded film, which is on one of the biggest platforms of the world, Disney plus Hotstar. Thank you. I'm not saying this to blow my own trumpet. The point that I'm trying to make to you is I urge you, please think outside the box because everyone, everyone will make sure that you remain in that box. And one more thing. We as a civilization now look outwards for validation. To whom? If all of us, for example, have an average of around 500, 600,000 people in our social media circle, 950 of those you don't know. So why are you bothered if they've given you a thumbs up, thumbs down or whatever their comment is? The barometer of your success, guys, is within yourself. Not even your closest ones, your mother, your father, not even they will be able to tell you if that barometer is correct. Am I a good actor? Am I a successful actor? Am I a successful entrepreneur? Am I a successful husband? Am I a successful boyfriend? Am I a successful friend? Who will know the answer the best? Me. If I ask somebody else, am I a successful actor? They will have their own interpretation of it. So why should you allow yourself to be imposed from other people's point of view? I leave you with three very prominent points with which I run my life. Please try to attain financial independence. Think outside the box and validate yourself. During the war, Lord Krishna told Arjun, while he was fighting his whole family, that don't worry about what you're about to do because the results are not in your hands. So my lovely friends and the future of this amazing country, think outside the box, validate yourself, and be the best version of yourself. Thank you. <laughs>